Hey guys! Well, in the last video, we milled out these three holes here for our drive dogs to go over our spleen shaft for the spindle. In this video, I want to work on this motor pulley here. Now, the pulley itself is already turned. However, I want to cut a keyway in the pulley so that when I slide it on here it'll engage. Now there is a keeper screw in the top so I'm going to make like a little uh, washer and a screw to go in there to hold that secure but the keyway is just to keep it from turning. Now I don't have a brooch set to cut this keyway in here and I've done them manually on the lathe before, but I've never done it on the mill. I saw an interesting video. It was a, a brooch for a CNC machine. Uh, it was pretty nice. It was a nice round shaft that had a slot in it like so. And this was a carbide cutter. And course it was all ground and everything this is just a demonstration but it basically just went up and down and shaved the keyway in there so I got to looking around the internet and I found a video I'll have to um, see if I can find it again and attach the link to this video and what he did was he took uh, just a round shaft and some square stock and put it in perpendicular like so at a slight angle and then cut it off of course held that in there with a set screw from the end and used that to broach the keyway and he just used it in like a it was a mill but it was you know like drill press just kept pressing down sliding over pressing down sliding over so what I think I'm going to try to do is combine both of those videos and see if I can come up with a way to do it on the CNC machine. So basically what I'm going to do is, this is just an old uh, shaft. I'm going to bore a hole through it, slide this through, put in a set screw, uh, cut this to length, and uh, ground the end and see if I can't try to do something come up with something that'll work so this is six millimeter bar stock uh, six millimeter high-speed steel tool stock and I'm going to this keyway is not quite six millimeters uh, it's 5.98 so that'll leave me a little bit of uh, room to kind of grind the sides and give it a little relief so first I just need to bore a hole down through here so let me get set up and we'll do that Okay, you can see how it's kind of going to work here. I've got the stock inside and the set screw in the bottom holding it tight. Then I'll come back and cut this off, but first I want to grind the, the cutter head. I want to taper the sides a little bit and get a nice angle here on the tip. 
So we'll take this apart, we'll take it to the grinder and get the grinder set up. I just have a bench top grinder and we'll grind this down. Then we'll come back and cut it off and it should work just fine. And then we'll just plunge it down through the stock a little bit at a time until we can get our keyway slot made. All right, so let's get that set up. All right, so we've got this made now. And the next thing I want to do is grind the high speed steel so that we can have a cutting angle. Now it already kind of has an angle to it right here, but what I want to do is grind another, grind this flat. And then also I want to grind each side. So it's going to look something like this. So we have our shaft. Then we have our tool coming through, and it's at a slight angle. Around seven degrees. It wasn't exact, uh, it's close. Then this angle right here, I want it to be about 12 degrees. And then this angle right here is seven degrees, basically. Okay, and then looking at the tool like this, what I want to do is just grind slightly like this to give it some release on the sides. And I think that should work. I'm not you know, I'm not a tool and die maker, but, and I haven't done a lot of uh, grinding of my own tooling, but I think that should work. So let me take it to the grinder, and then we'll grind this, and then I'll come back and cut this off, and uh, it should be ready to go. simple pretty straightforward and that should give me plenty I only need about an eighth of an inch on the depth all right so next I'm just going to cut this off and we'll assemble it and give it a try all right, now that we got it cut off, I went back and just ground the back just a little bit, and you can see what the finished piece is going to look like. Now we just need to take it over to the mill and see if this is going to work. All right, now that we have our broaching tool made, it actually turned out pretty good.
I've already made a test pass in a just a scrap piece here and it actually did a really good job so I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to broach this pulley um, it's always a little tricky and scary when you're doing this on the actual part I've already got several a lot of machining time on this particular part so messing it up now would be devastating so that's just the way it goes when you're doing things for the first time so what I did was I had to hand write some code and basically I'm just going to be plunging down the z-axis and then moving in the positive x direction a thousandths each pass until we get to the desired depth which is about an eighth of an inch I've got it held in a three jaw chuck and it is raised up from the bottom a little bit and the hole in the chuck will allow the tool to go down below the bottom of the pulley so let's give it a shot see what we got and uh, hopefully everything will turn out just right getting a little vibration there you can see but um it's making a really long cut it's about an over it's about 1.6 inches deep so let me zoom out here it's about 1.6 inches deep but really nice looking keyway there Let me uh, get the key and check fit. All right, looks like it fits in there, width-wise. There's probably a little, there's probably a little flex right here. So I think what I'll do is, I'm gonna come back and add some more code to just do some spring passes to make sure I got the right depth. I'll have to measure that and see what the depth is. Okay, I went back and did added some extra lines of code at the end to just kind of do some spring passes. I just ran like 10 spring passes. Um, there was some chatter on the inside of the back keyway wall. There was some chatter. But after I ran those spring passes, it's really nice and smooth. Um, you can see nice little shavings that came off of that 
pretty impressed. Um, I didn't have to lock my spindle at all. I just simply put my gearbox in low one, and it's very hard to turn like that. And it didn't seem to walk or wander at all. If it did, uh, it's not noticeable by the keyway because the keyway is it's a nice fit. So I think I've got the depth right. I need to go about halfway, and I think I've went a little bit a little bit further than halfway. So hopefully it's good. I'm going to take it out and do a check fit <clears throat> on the motor now, and we'll see what we got. Well, all right. So the finished pulley, I just finished broaching it. Turned out really well. Some crud down in there. But uh, nice, smooth. Uh, I had to have like probably about, I did about 10 spring passes there just to make sure that I got it and there was no deviation. But you can see uh, it turned out really nice. And it fits down on there real nice. I'm going to turn a washer with a hole through it and because this shaft is threaded and that'll lock that down. Not bad for a homemade brooch. I'm really pretty impressed at the way it turned out. I ended up doing, I did two of them and uh, they both turned out really, really nice. Very impressed. These are the kind of flakes I was getting off of it. Shavings. Uh, just a thousandth of an inch at a time. And uh, just worked its way in until it got to the right depth. Turned out really good. So now that I have both my pulleys finished, um, next for the belt drive we'll be working on some risers, motor mount, and that should be it, I think. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to machine those and I guess I'll have to pull the motor apart, take it off so that I can take some measurements for the mounts and risers um, and then put it back together to run the parts. That's the way it goes when you're doing this uh, off the cuff. Turned out really well. I'm very satisfied with the way uh, the tool worked and the keyway that it cut. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. If you're interested in uh, any of my conversion plans, you can stop by the website. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe. Hey guys, well in the last video, we dropped our pulley uh, CNC broaching with a homemade broaching tool. Give it a try.